Hey there everyone, what about um, Amy Obi here reviewing another TGC Tours user created course. In this video we're playing Matagorda Golf and Country Club by Texas Dad. It's an interesting design with some really cool holes and some things that probably could be improved. So I've provided some feedback that I hope you find useful. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe, it helps the channel a ton. Also feel free to head over to our Twitch channel at www.twitch.tv slash whataboutamiobi. We have an awesome community and we would love to have you there. But for now, sit back and enjoy the video. Cities in, in um, Saskatchewan I could name. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. I think this came from TGC Tours. I don't remember how or, or why, but um, off the bat, I, I don't mind the look of it. The, the colors are a little bit odd. The, the, the tea color I'm not loving. Um... Otherwise, it's not so bad. We've pinched the fairway a bit for driver, which I'm fine with. Just cut one back into the wind there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're in Saskatoon? Okay. Eh, good guess. That's what the weather I looked for, and then I told my daughter, and she just was like, "What?" Because I think it was minus 15 this morning. <laughs> it's supposed to get to like minus 10. That's cold for us. Uh, and few Americans, we're talking in Celsius, so don't get too freaked out by that. Although minus 30, like minus 40, is minus 40 in both. So we're we're mad as it it's cold. <laughs> it's very very cold. Hmm. Those bunkers are kind of sticking up a bit more than I'd like them to. I'd rather dig down and make them deep rather than create this kind of moundy thing. I see that a lot. And I, so again, again, I don't know if that's something that can be changed. Uh, a pin on the back there is going to be just frighteningly evil. Uh, I don't like how close the tree is on the left there to the green. And I wonder if this sculpting here is because of this bunker being the way it is, or... I don't know. Yeah, I, I refuse to have electric heat um, axle because it's outrageously expensive. <laughs> and we need it here, too. Um, poor Matty, I don't think he ever turns his heater off. Yeah, that that's an awfully severe, and it just goes like it's it's like a wall over there on the left. I, I'd look into that, and I think again, it's because of it might be because of the way the bunker's been sculpted in there. I'm not sure, but it just doesn't look the way it should. And then now that I'm seeing the green with this lighting, it's just it's bright. It's bright. But you're talking Fahrenheit, right? Manatee, like minus 15 Celsius is about, I don't know, 8 or 9 Fahrenheit, give or take. Okay, second hole. Again, I like the, the look of the T, a bit narrow here, which is fine. And then we kind of go out here a bit. Hang on, what's going on over here? Yeah, this... I don't know. Uh oh, I didn't think I got it back. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's cold. <laughs> when, when, any any time you're putting a minus, that's cold. Um. All right. So what do we got going on here? So we've gone with the. You can bail it to the left, but if you want to go for it, you got to cut a corner. Um, hmm. Everything feeds over there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, you, no, if you're talking Kelvin, there's no such thing as minus. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, the pin is, is difficult. Now, 
We've got fairway over here. I'm trying to figure out why I would ever hit it over here. Because it's narrow. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go for it just to see what happens. And because it's probably what I would want to do anyways. But... Oh, jeez. Uh, no, we're okay. Oh, no, we're not. And we want to take this one? Just curious. <laughs> this is going to be no fun at all. <laughs> um, wow. Oh, and I still went through bush there. All right. That bunker I could see right as it went in. That's a big bathtub we got going on there. Um, so we want to work on the bunker sculpting some. I you just I don't know. There was something about that second shot that just didn't feel right to me. Driver off the deck, that would have been too much, buddy. Yeah, 18 Kelvin, but you can't go minus on Kelvin because zero is absolute zero. Okay, so we got a nice little par three in the in the in the woods here. Um, yeah. So the, uh, the last thing I'll say in the bunkers is they do need a little bit of sculpting to them. Oh, this one's not so bad. It's a little, well, no, it is a bit bathtubby. Um, that's a pretty aggressive drop off there. It just looks like there's some overall smoothing needs to be done. And then. Green. Mm. Okay, it might be just a hair aggressive. Hey there, Adam. How's it going, man? This is. Matagorda? Uh, it should say on the bottom of the screen. Matagorda, I think. Texas Dad. Oh, I forgot to put that part in. Um. Yeah, I don't know. The back, middle, back, left pin would be pretty tricky. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. Oh, it didn't break. One thing I do will say is if this course was where I live in the summer, there would be more mosquitoes than you'd be able to count. Um, luckily, we don't have that problem in this game. Okay. So this over here, there's just this. That just looks like it just hasn't really had much attention paid to it. Um... I don't know. This we're starting. This is starting to get a bit on the rough side. Uh, if I'm being completely honest. Try and find this sliver down here, a fairway. And I'm not gonna. And I'm under a tree. It's okay. Um. And then now we have a green. So. We have a fair we have a we have fairway on the left. We've made rough around the bunker on the right. Fair around the it just this course is looking for an identity here at the moment to me. Um Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Adam. Okay now we're gonna run this down the hill. And then we're probably going uphill off a of downhill. No, no, it's flat. Okay. Um, well, hang on. All right, let's have a look at the green here for a sec. Um, 
I'm not I I'm not a fan at all of beads running towards each other like that. I'm just not. And again, I wonder if it's because of the sculpting of the bunker that's made that happen. Or is it a conscious decision to make it run away from a bunker to make the bunker harder? I don't know. Luckily, I don't have to deal with it here. But I just there's been just a, so far it's just looked like we've had some um aggressive sloping that oh jeez. Well, let's go in the bunker. Um, that I'm just not sure needs to be so aggressive. This is going to come f screaming down that hill. Oh, I didn't need any juice on it. Green speeds, um, I would tell you, 170, 178. So they're quick. That shouldn't have gone in. That was a bad, sh bad putt, but we'll take it. Yeah, that's what I was wondering about that, Adam. Um, if it was the sculpting the bunkers that was doing it to the greens, because we're seeing it here again, right? Where there's a bunker, there's a pretty extreme slope. And here, we don't have a whole lot of room to sneak this in. Um. And you don't really have any way to, I mean, it's 160. It's not like it's we're hitting three wood into this, but we're not hitting wedge either. Hmm. I think, yeah, overall, I think the sculpting might just need a little bit of help. Because this is going to, yeah. But then that's the game. I mean, hitting anything other than a wedge is going to bounce and go away. So, and we'll just chip it in. But yeah, a bit. But it's. I think it's moving it a bit too much. Maybe Adam. That's kind of my thinking. Is it's creating a really like that. Because I agree with you, it should it should influence the green some, but and the, yeah, the, the, that color is starting to bug me. Okay, um, now four seventy two. That fairway is awfully skinny. Uh, I didn't aim far enough right. I don't know if this is gonna. I'm not where am I going to end up now? All right. Could argue that might be a bit narrow for a for a hole of this length, but um, at the same time, you can also argue that it's still you can still hit that fairway. Oh, that really went left. It was never getting there anyways. Okay. For this green Again, that pin is just, we're going to be hitting a pretty long shot in there. Um, hmm. I would look at, the, I mean, I don't know if this is, comes, if this, um, well, no, he, he, uh, he designed on PS4 because I could see his name, so. Um. Wow. Yeah, I'll stick with my Srixons that I got a couple years ago on sale. <laughs> All right, now we got a kind of a shorter par four, where driver isn't really the play. Where it's narrow, which I'm fine with on a short hole. Um, and then the green's blind from here. Cause I've gone. I'm on an uphill lie, but the green's below me. And then look at that for a drop off. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna be my overall comment. Is to, for my liking at least, the drop offs are a bit severe. 
Uh, and then what's on the right here? Why do we have wood? I, I guess it's holding up the lip for this rock area, but... Yeah, the blindness is going to just be a big bother for me, and then... I don't know. I'm hitting a lob wedge in, so... Asking me to be precise is fine. Got her fixed there, buddy? Alright, and now what do we got here? Okay, this... It's not the most extreme not dog leg. I mean, it looks maybe a bit more extreme than it actually is. So we'll just sling one around here. Whoa. Some sculpting needs to be done there. Need to look at how steep that is there, and that's uh, probably... Yeah, there's a bunker beside me. Okay. Uh... This green, we've cut it up into, into different spots. Yeah. What was that? Oh, hey, Twitch Blade. Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Welcome to Team Amiobi. Where we even let Scousers in. Hmm. Unfor like, I'm liking the look of the course. There's just too many times where I'm like, ah. Like that fairway is just way too, too um, sloped. You guys haven't lived until you've been dealing with a uh, ten-year-old desktop, my friends. <laughs> no problem, Asp. Actually, uh, Jordy's and, and Scousers have a lot in common. Uh, okay, par five. Again, we're eh, this isn't unnecessarily narrow. But we're now we're we're in the force. It's a lot more built up than other holes we've played. Quite a ways downhill. I didn't pick up on that as much. Um. And then. Yeah, every hole just has a massive drop off somewhere. I don't mind the size of the green. Oh, I'm gonna hit the hit the side here and see. Oh, actually, that did better than I thought it was gonna. I thought that was going the long ways. Um, yeah. So the green size is 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 absolutely fine for this length of hole, uh, for it being a par five. Sorry. Uh, it's it's gonna require a really good shot to get close to the hole. It should. Nice little clubhouse in the background. We got some cars. Cool. Um, all right. Played too many holes. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mind that, that. That was a pretty. That was a good par five. I. I. That was. Yeah. That was thought pretty well. Hmm. Okay. So this is not quite a right angle dog leg, but it's not far off. If I lay it out to the end of the, f so yeah, now we're we're just. It says 398 on the card, but if you play it to the fairway and then over, it's gonna play 450. So we're just making the course longer. 
by creating a big dog leg. Now I am going to try and cut this, cut the corner to see what happens. Okay, so I can cut the corner easily. And now I've turned it into, I've still got 120 in. I'm not a big fan of the extreme dog leg. Um, he gave me a shot to play here though, so I don't mind it as much. But I would be careful about it, is what I would say. <laughs> yeah. Could be. Yeah, you got a point there, Adam. Oh, this is getting bright now. My poor big pupil eyes. I can't even see the hole. Aye. I don't know if that's just how that rendered with the sun bouncing off of it. or Oh, that was harsh, though. I, I semi-rushed that putt just to get out of there because that was so bright. Lighting on tree line courses is super tough. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was bright. Yeah, the lighting, from what I gather, can be a real challenge at times. Um, so, just to be aware. Uh, I'm not... I like how that looks from the tee, so I'm, I'm on the fence about it. I don't like how it would play. But it's kind of out of the way, so you probably shouldn't have to deal with it. Okay, I thought that was going to be a big drop off there. It's not. And then the V, kind of a V-shaped bunker there. Mm. Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah, it is. That's yeah. The frames, it, that bunker is framed lo wonderfully from the T. It looks really, really cool. Um, hey, Bundy, how's it going? Current season for this. The gully needs some. Yeah, the gully needs something. Some agua, some water would work. And I'm thinking that's what I'm I'm finding with this core. And I I don't think it's a beta. It's just the one thing I've seen a lot. And I thought Viking made a great post post today on the forum. Um, whoa, where am I going? Okay, hang on. Oh, that's a downslope there. So you have to land it short. Okay. It's a bit harsh on a 200-yard hole, but I think there's a way to play it. And that's all I'm really asking for ever is, is, it, is there a way to play it? If there is, that's fine. I think if you land it short, you should be able to run it and then run it down, run it to the hole and then not catch that downslope. If you catch a downslope, you're gone. Sorry. Um, I think one of the things I'm really, I've really been seeing, especially with the newer designers, is it's the difference between the the biggest obvious difference between the established designers like Maddie and. Um, the newer designers, it's just that lack of polish, right? Just that lack of that. And again, I think I've said this in the stream before. It's that it's that tedious crap that you need to do to make sure that everything looks right. And I see the newer designers tend to just kind of I don't want I don't want to say they're rushing the course out, but they're they're not paying that same attention to detail. And it 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 you notice it, you do. Um, I gotta be honest. When I first started showing up at TGC tours, I saw some playthroughs and I thought, "Wow, that's pretty darn nitpicky." But now I see it. When when you're not paying attention to that stuff, you, it usually you see it throughout the course. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, just a little planting here, a little scump sculpting there, and it just completely transforms the course. Again, the framing here is nice. Like, there's there's a lot to like about this course. That's the thing. So I don't, 
I don't want to be negative about everything. Um, there's a lot to like. There's just a couple areas where give it X amount more hours and it would look really good and it, it would play pretty well too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Which I think a lot of where a Viking comment kind of came from was that when you don't have that experience, maybe maybe take a little bit more time to, before you hit the publish button to make sure, right? Or have somebody look at it or... I gotta figure that as a new designer it could be pretty demoralizing because um, y your course when it gets reviewed it's probably not gonna get a great review um, and you've pro put put so much time into it and I know there's a it's a bit of a meme in TG2, TGC tours where somebody say well I spent 20 hours on this and for the people to be like well that's nothing but it's still 20 hours that's a, a lot of a person's time so I can understand you spent what seems like quite a lot of time to you to create a course for people to say, well, it's not really that good. That's harsh. It's hard, sorry. It's, I wouldn't say it's harsh necessarily because you're, you're putting your course there and you, you know what you're getting into, but it, it, it's, it's got to be hard. Um, okay. So again, it's framed a lot nicely. The way the bunkers... I mean, I'm really enjoying the way the bunkers sit there and, and frame the whole... Frame the fairway, sorry. Um, and the trees, yeah, trees do a pretty good job too. Extending on this tee, you can see where the left edge of the fairway is and where the right edge of the fairway is because of the bunkers. So, trees are good. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think a lot of people who get this game and see the designer and think, oh, this is really cool, have no clue how much you got to do to get into it. Although I got one for you guys where I'm not sure if this guy was trying. <laughs> is, um, yeah, we'll get into that later. Don't want to take away from Texas dad here. Takes a state dad. Okay, so what is that in front? It's just kind of a wasted area with some dead trees and stuff in there. And then a really severe... It's just it's little things like this. I think if you make that water, this looks... I mean, it, it makes the hole better now. He might be going for a basically a drought, like dried out everything kind of course. That could be what he's going for. So if he is, fair enough. It's just, I don't know. I, I would prefer it not to be like that is all. Because you've got all these lush trees and, the, you know, lush grass. And then we're saying there's no water here for water in here? I don't know. Where's the water coming from for the rest of the course? And it, the, we can see the pin can't really see the green that's but we can see the pen so that's okay well, I think it's safe to take these off I haven't heard the alarm go in a while so let's just figure it's done I'm not sure hey there Chris how's it going man or person girl Chris could be a girl Chris crazy that we're going for Welcome aboard, anyways. Um, yeah, don't you start, Axel. Yeah, the green, I mean, the greens have gotten better, I think, as we've gone along. They haven't gotten, been quite as extreme. Ow. Oh. look too dry yeah and that you know and the thing is that I'm playing this course right now I'm not entirely sure what he was going for um, it could be he could be nailing what he was trying to do and ultimately it's his course all right At the end of the day that was one of Vikings points make a course for yourself if I like this course great if I don't like this course great all right all I'm trying to do is be a bit helpful and um, maybe see things that a person might not see themselves I would like to see that, if possible, make that like green it, plant some rough on it or something, just to make it green, so it's not such a. Eh, although, I don't know. I need to see it both ways, I think, before I decide which one I like better. Uh, again, the bunkering frames things nicely. Like, there's this guy knows what he's doing in a lot of areas. That's for sure.
distracts from the nicer parts. Yeah, that's kind of what I was, my original thought was. You played this last week? Yeah, I've had it on my list for quite a while. Okay, just stop right there. Yeah. And I try not to. I try to just say I'm not sure about this or I'm not sure if this is what you're trying or I'm, I'm trying to be nice, right? Like I don't, I, and one of the things I definitely don't want to do is make fun of somebody on here. Um, but yeah, there's times where I'm just like, I'm, I'm not understanding it. And so, um, there, and I've had it where designers come back to me in, in whatever form and said, well, I'm trying to do this with it. And I go, oh, okay, that makes sense then. Or I've had it where they're in stream, which is really good. Well, they'll say, yeah, that what I'm trying to, what I'm looking for is this. And I go, oh, well, you've nailed it. Perfect. Okay. Again, I like the way the bunkers frame the fairway. They don't really come into play, it doesn't look like. It's okay. Um, so, yeah, this is definitely the theme. We're going for dried out creek beds or whatever we want to call it. So, we've established that, I think. Um, okay. Again, it's sculpting. I mentioned that already. Oh, that's got to go. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. Where's this going to end up? Okay. That just barely got there. Okay, yeah, so the green, it was sloping that way. I like that we've gotten away from the really aggressive sloping now. Um, for a three wood to run like that is completely fine. It's a three wood. All right. I don't know if I have Lucas. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, so what do we got going? So this is potentially drivable if you want to carry everything. You're going to bring the water right into play. If you lay it up over here, we're not going to because I'm not allowed to, but. Hmm. There's definitely a layup option. What happened here? Did I catch that tree? I guess I must have. Oh, okay. Well, we can't get there. Never mind. You get the tree. I, that, that hit the tree? The retaining walls, yeah. I, I just don't... The one thing I don't like about this retaining wall is that it's way bigger than the rough and everything around it. It dominates that. Um, and it's very, very close to the green surface, so we could very easily just start bouncing off of that. Uh, that's my personal thing. I don't like walls and rocks coming into play, but um, it's it's pretty it, yeah, it's pretty well done, for sure. Uh, what do I need to hit here? More than this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so hitting driver there is not the play unless you loft it, I guess. He's used a bridge to build. He's used a bridge as part of it. Cool. Well, it only went like 240, Twitch, so I, I caught the tree. It was like 330? I think it was 330 to the hole. The, the, court, the card's going to say something different. 364, but I was cutting the corner, so it was like 330. Um, I caught a tree right at the beginning and it killed it I didn't realize I, I, I didn't think I'd hit it seven wood deck in the front edge I remember there being a wood with like a bunch of like rocks to the right I thought that was a short par four but yeah I was curious on that one too 
Okay. Yeah, again, I'm liking the idea here. Um, that should be good. Oh, no? Really? Okay. Never mind. Pretty straightforward par three. Just good. Good hole. Yeah, I do remember there being a shot where there was a deck in the way, and I just was like, what am I supposed to do here? Um, well, no, it wasn't that. It was where the pin was, though. Uh, the pin wasn't near it, the pin I played. So, um, okay, now we got ourselves a par five here to finish off. Blind, aren't we? Yep. All right, so this is a three shotter. Now, he hasn't really left us with an opportunity to just smash one. Uh, it's blind, which is really unfortunate. I'd love to see this get. I, I don't like. I don't think it should be blind when you got water to deal with. Uh, you should at least be able to see the water. So I need to carry it about 225 to get up here. So I should be able to hit a driver, unless I catch that damn tree and get it kind of... Oh, I was on... <laughs> I didn't check my lie. If I hit that where I meant to, I was fine. <laughs> Alright, never mind what I was going to do there. I was trying to hit it over to the left fairway there and maybe roll it around, but... Just as I took the club back, I was like, oh crap, the lie. Uh, again, that, well, you know what though? I shouldn't be hitting a four iron in, so never mind. That pins, I don't mind that. It's my own fault for having a four iron in. If you're hitting a wedge, you should be able to stick that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that hole. When I played it, the pin was back left, so it wasn't in play. But it was, I was, it was curious. The clubhouse looks really nice, actually. Nice. I mean, you can tell that, um, you can tell this designer has put some thought into what he's doing, and he's put some work into it. He hasn't just slapped a course up there in ten minutes. Oh. Actually, that's another good par, buddy. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I kind of mentioned the same kind of thing. Okay, so overall thoughts. Um, there's a lot to like about that course. There's some good hole designs. There's some good thought process to the strategy. Um, especially as we got into the round. The first couple of holes I wasn't as thrilled with. I thought the, the sloping was a bit aggressive, the bunkering was a bit aggressive. But as we got going, it was it, the, the holes started to make a lot more sense. Um, it was fun to play. I, I like a lot of what you did with that course. I really do. Um, where I think you could maybe improve it a bit, there were some sculpting issues. Um, and then there were just some areas where it's like, I don't know if you didn't notice it, or it just, it looked unfinished kind of in some spots where it just was needed a little bit more to it, like maybe some planting or some sculpting or, you know. Um, so, yeah, I just, it's little things like that. And I think to me, that's one of the big differences between the really established designers and the newer ones is they, the established designer don't let little unfinished things go. They finish everything. Um, so you've got some great ideas. Um, there's some, there's some really good holes on that course. Just, yeah, a little bit of, like I said, a little sculpting, a little bit of, you get that fuzzy brush or whichever brush going and, and just kind of 
clean things up a little bit in a couple areas, and then I think we've got a really nice course there. So, a good job overall, I would 